So, which absent today? Please come by. Today, I can see some of the students are absent. And today, in Kathmandu Valley, there is one program, right? Yes. That is Water Datra. But Anupam focuses only on calendar holidays. Understood, Anna? Calendar is already made before Water Datra, Kai Datra, Inder Datra. And such type of holidays will not be provided in Anupam. If it is mentioned in calendar, it's okay. Otherwise, none. What about Master? Um, Jesus Kumar Babu, why are you late? Produce your tears. Only being Jesus Kumar Babu doesn't matter. Hey, Miss Radhi, uh, Jesus Khadgu. Okay, let's come inside. <coughs> Children, I have seen some of the uh, questions for um, this youth second unit test. Last time, some questions were sent by. Uh, Krizal Khanka. Now I will just check uh, whether there are more. Krizal Khanka has sent. Now Krizal Khanka's long question has come. Is it? Okay, let's check this one. At first, we will discuss some sample questions and they will be presentation. Is that okay? This is our oh, exercise there. So, exercise presentation we will do during um, our daytime class. Now, question practice, right? Uh, Deepak Bora, give reason solving? No. Ritika, Ritika Mahardhan, Ritika Mahardhan, Rai. Isniya Rai is question here. Isniya Rai, oh, okay. What is this? Is there animation or what? Isniya, is there animation? Isniya has animation. Hmm. Okay, Isniya Rai said there is animation. Uh, okay, everybody take out your copy. And when we discuss, immediately copy these questions and be prepared, right? Understood, Anna? Second unit test questions. Okay. <coughs> You must write as fast as I complete. Now, I don't want to see those children who are very passive and lazy. Okay. Uh, slide slow from beginning. What is this? Why did you mention with all these slides? Okay, this? Anupam Vidya Southern Higher Secondary Boarding School. Double subject, subject, science. Full max 20 password. Okay. So we should copy and... Yeah, MC MCQ also, why not? What is, the, what is the question here? What is the rate of change of velocity? What is the rate of change of velocity? Distance, displacement, wavelength, acceleration. Which one is correct? Acceleration. Okay, please. Copy question and then write correct answer. That is also okay. Hey. What is the rate of change of velocity, the answer is acceleration. Completed? Now, number two. What is the question? Which of the following formulae can give the value of velocity of wheel and axle? Which of the following uh, formulae gives the value of velocity of wheel and axle? Wheel and axle, you may remember. Capital R by small r. What is capital R? Radius, Radius of wheel. Small r? Radius, Radius of axle. Right? So time is like this. You might have thought that sir is not, sir is going to wait for you. I am not going to wait because you became very lazy and passive. Question number three. Read the question. What is the main source of, what is this? What is the main source of energy? Sorry? From beginning, what did it do? Then why it became like this? Then how it came? Now see here. Our question is this one. When you see this one, so here is. What, what is it? What is the main source of 
geothermal energy, hydro energy, what how it came. What I will tell you this, I'm confused. Yeah. What is the main source of energy in the sun? What is this? What is the main source of energy and also the hydrogen and sun? Hydrogen, sun, what I this question, what I question is it? So while making the slide, you have to make current. Isn't it? So this became outdated. Let's go to the next one. Now, very short question. What is the relation between inertia and mass? What is the relation between inertia and mass? What is the answer? Okay, mass, is mass is directly proportional to inertia. Either write down, mass is directly proportional to inertia or inertia is directly proportional to mass. Okay. Question number two. Define compound machine. The machines which are made up of two or more than two simple machines are called compound machines. The machines which are made up of two or more than two simple machines are called compound machines. Question number three. Name the factor that affect the mechanical advantage of machine. The factors that affect the mechanical advantage of machine is friction, right? Friction affects the mechanical advantage, right? Question number four. Yeah, this slide is okay. This slide is okay. I think at that time earlier you just mix up many more because of that. Number four. Name one factor device run by solar system. Not one factor. Name one device run by solar system. Or solar energy it should be. Not system, solar energy. Solar heater, solar cooker. Isn't it? So you can remember those things. Next question is here. Short question answer. Two times two. Again, see here. I think when you combine it becomes like that. Right? Yeah. What is uh, retardation? What will be the, the acceleration of a body moving with a uniform velocity? What do you think? What is retardation? Negative, Negative acceleration is called retardation. And um, acceleration of a body moving with uniform velocity is zero. What is that? Zero. Okay. Question number two. Write any two uses of wind energy. For what purpose you will use? Boards, to sail the boards, to run the windmills, to produce electricity. Right? You can write either. Long questions. Two, four, zero, eight. Yeah, when it became double, it became like this. Again, this type of slide, we have to check once again. Yes? Okay. Number one. If a girl is running along a straight road with a uniform velocity one point, I think, uh, if a girl is running along a straight road with a uniform velocity 1.5 meters second, find her acceleration is given. Four max question, I think it doesn't match, right? So she has asked this one in four max. And what is the next question? Only one question. A oh, diameter of the head of a screw a nail is 1.5 centimeter and its pitch is 1 centimeter. If the nail can magnify the for applied force by four times, calculate its MA, BR, and efficiency. Okay, this question uh, can be asked in four months, no problem. Second question to copy. But first question became a bit short. In first, I told you you have to ask the question from diagrammatic questions. From where? Yeah. Diagrammatic questions. Okay, this question was recently done. Pitch means the velocity ratio can be calculated by using the formula 2 pi r by p. R means r means radius of the head 
and P means distance between two threads. And here is given uh, can magnify the applied effort by four times means ratio of load and effort is four. That means mechanical advantage is four. Just remember these things and wait. <coughs> okay, I think the, this coupling work already done. And these questions must be solved within three, four periods whenever there is gap and then must be shown during daytime. Daytime, I will check all these questions answers. So, now focus on uh, writing and presenting the activities. Okay. Is it completed everybody? Now don't you write, stop this. Um, so let's go to discuss today uh, the presentation of children. Now who is going to present? I don't know. Which presentation is there? Sneha Rai, Sneha Rai, Nesara uh, Bhandari. This is your, your presentation. What is that? You are also second. Okay. Your question we will discuss next day. Okay. All right. Chita Nepali, what is this? Document 9 means what it is about? No, no. Who prepared this question? This is also your uh, question. Okay. One day we will discuss one question set. Will that be okay or not? So that there will be frequent revision also and you can do better also. Yes, so these all must be completed today. And who is the presentation is there today? Is there anybody's presentation? Yud Bhavucha? No. Okay, uh, this chapter is already completed. The chapter energy is already completed, right? Exercise the lift. Okay, if exercise the lift. If so, uh, let me see. Still, we have got near about half an hour left. Now we will discuss exercise. Whose uh, duty is to present the exercise? Exercise. Susil Chan, next. Susil, okay, Susil, please come here. Come. I saw your document. Okay, everybody, be alert. Take out your rough copy. You take out your rough copy if you want to write, you can write it. But you are not going to wait for you. Okay, come on. Good morning to all. from grade 9, group A. Standing here to present the MCQ of uh, chapter energy. What is the main source of energy? Options are hydroelectricity, sun, mineral oil, natural gas. The answer is sun. You can look at the book and check it. How much solar energy falls per square meter on the surface of the uh, earth? Uh, options are 1.5 kilowatt, uh, B or uh, 1.4 kilowatt, C 1.140 kilowatt, and D uh, 14 kilowatt. Answer is 140 kilowatt. 140 kilowatt is correct answer. 1.4 kilowatt is correct answer. Okay. Yes, what answer is correct? Answer is uh, 1.4 kilowatt. Yeah. Uh, which of the following is the chief alternative source of energy in Nepal? Options are solar energy, wind energy, geothermal energy, and hydroelectricity. Answer is hydro hydroelectric energy. Okay, uh, which of the following is a non renewable source of energy? Options are coal, wood, biogas, and wind energy. Answer is coal. What is the solar er energy stored in the material such as wood, sugar, biogas called? Options are fossil fuels, biomass, geothermal energy. Tidal energy, answer is tidal energy. And the tidal energy? Solar energy is stored in the material such as wood, that is biomass. Okay, it's not tidal energy, we discussed energy in huh? By which process energy produced in the sun? And options are nuclear fission, chemical reaction, nuclear fusion, and photoelectric photo effect. Answer is a nuclear fusion. Thank you, thank you very much. Sushil, so Sushil has done, which one he has done? MCQ. MCQ work is done by Sushil. Actually, he has done from there. Uh, let me open the book. 
So we can check the book. Where is class eight book? Class nine is here, right? So we can see the books as well. Uh, okay, children. This was the question. Hello. This is the question. MCQ. We have made slides from this one. Uh, after uh, Sushil, which town is there? Jenny Sadara. No. Desara is the town, right? Okay, Desara, please come here. Now we'll discuss Desara's activity also. I saw Desara's many more works. Desara Bhandari. Yes, is there? This is a question. This is a question. Where is it? I where is it? I didn't know to switch it on now with Kumal. This is this is sixty Pia Sita Nepali Desara Bandari Nesara Bandari Nesara Bandari document two document two. This is Sneharai Sneharai Ritika Marjan Ritika Marjan Deepak Bora Yidiva Bora Gibrijan Yamrit Kumal. Mirror six happening this one. Showing in this are the easy to Hey, okay, okay. Uh, this boy's presentation is uh, incomplete, he has not seen till now. So, when he comes, then we'll inquire whether it has come or not. Sometimes it becomes like sodium margin. She doesn't send, and she's already sent. If you send, then you must come now. There is other also will say, there, 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 there. but if send then it must come here. Right? Is it here? Then our next presentation is here by which person? Uh, I saw Desara, Desara, Desara. Who, whose presentation is there? Deepak Bora's work, I saw. Uh, then if he is not there, how do you do? Who is there? Who's done? Uh, after Jenny Sadara, Group B, Group B, who are there? What is your duty? Sister Pia. Oh, Sister Pia, come here. Pia is there. Come here. Yeah, that's, that's great also. So, what is the work? Uh, very short questions? Very short questions? Okay, nice. Good evening, everybody. Okay, can everybody Namaskar and very warm good morning to respected science teacher and your present my friends. So as you all know, today uh, me and myself, Krizal Karga, we are presenting about law of question answer from chapter energy. And I have I was assigned to do a long question answer of E to J number. So uh, here are the answers that I have found. So first one is defined and there are altogether eight definitions. So first one is sources of energy. Those mediums through which we can gain energy are defined as sources of energy. Uh, that means sources of energy are those things or medium through which we can get energy. And next is biofuel. Uh, the alternative sources of energy that are gained from the waste materials and dead bodies of plants and animals are defined as biofuel. That means biofuel are alternative sources of energy and uh, they are they can be gained from materials of dead plants and animal wastes. And next is energy crisis. The shortage of major sources of medium of the energy due to many factors in the future is defined as energy crisis. Uh, energy crisis can be defined as shortage in various kind of sources of energy due to many factors. And next is nuclear energy, the main source of energy through which other minor energies can be derived or other uh, energy of the sun is defined as the nuclear energy. And next is tidal energy, the energy derived from the tide of the water is defined as the tidal energy. And next is alternative sources of energy, the energy that helps mankind to save non-renewable sources of energy for the future uh, for the future I define as alternative sources of energy. That means alternative sources of energy are those kind of energy which help us to save non-renewable sources of energy like coal, mineral uh, and petrol kerosene. 
and next one is solar energy the energy that is derived from the sun is defined as solar energy uh, nuclear fuel those kinds of fuel that op that are obtained from the nuclear fusion in the sun is defined as nuclear fuel and next question is mention some traditional uses of solar energy uh, here i have written two points and it can be used to cook food with the help of solar cookers and it can also be used to convert saline water into drinkable water with the help of solar steel. Uh, next, G number is about what are the useful alternative sources of energy for Nepal give to regions. And this answer is according to my opinion. Biogas is first one because as Nepal is an agricultural country here, uh, biogas can be produced in more number because here cattle are more and plants waste stays are more as it is an ag agricultural country so next is i think hydropower nepal is second richest country in the world uh, so there should be in the case of water resources uh, there are more than six thousand rivers in nepal through which electricity can be generated and this can be a uh, very good alternative sources of energy <clears throat> astronomy is about what are the condition under which nuclear fusion is expected to occur in the sun and there, here are the three points under which uh, nuclear fusion uh, can be done uh, occurs. There is an abundance, there should be abundance of hydrogen gas in the sun to participate uh, in nuclear fusion. The extremely high temperature of the uh, sun, about uh, 10, power, 10 to the power 8k, causes hydrogen atoms to spill their nuclei. And next is the extremely high pressure of the sun causes the similar chains nuclei to fuse together. And I number question is, what are the advantages of the <coughs> presence of hydrogen in large scale in the sun? So, uh, when hydrogen, uh, the presence of hydrogen can have various from uh, various kind of advantages. And from its origin, sun is emitting heat and light continuously to us. The sun is rich, uh, rich in hydrogen gas. At very high temperature of the sun, a hydrogen spills off into protons and electrons. If we see in detail, the sun's hydrogen helps in nuclear fusion due to which a uh, tremendous, that means more amount of energy can be released. And to describe it in more short, we can use this equation that is 2,1H1 plus 2,1H1 uh, under enormously high temperature and pressure, 2H helium power 4 plus to one uh, E zero plus energy. This can uh, explain the answer in more shorter form. And last question is, what are the advantages of solar energy over mineral energy? So I found here four points from the book and they are solar energy are eco-friendly. It is renewable sources of energy. It is an alternative sources of energy. It helps in conducting biogeochemical cycle like wind and water cycle that is very important for living beings. And thank you, and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so Krijal has done a wonderful job. She has brought all those questions. So today, this is the last presentation right now. And in daytime, we will do others. Okay, children, everybody take out your rock copy. Close your fear copy. Fear copy, you keep it inside. No, no, I will tell. I will tell. Now, you have to do all these things, your rock copy first. Then if you copy from your rock copy, then again there will be repetition. That's a directly copying in fair copy is very bad. Okay, so uh, today um, basically how many questions we have discussed? Two type of questions. One is MCQ by Sushil Chan. Next one, long question, long questions are few long questions are by Kizal Karga. Give them a big round of applause. What is that? Clap with sound. At least develop the habit to fill the other. Hey, to fill in. Okay. Uh, from 3E only, here are the questions. Only 3E are here. Rest of others, I think, who are the um, concerned persons, they will present later on. So, did you take out your rock of everybody? Yes. yes. Okay. So, you write down as soon as possible with very nice handwriting. Question is long answer type questions. Here are definitions, sources of energy, those med mediums through which we can gain energy are called um, sources of energy. Okay, next, okay, number one and number, second one is biofuel, the alternative sources of energy that are 
gain from the waste materials and dead bodies of plants and animals are defined as biofuel. This is also okay. Hey, this also you just copy it. So for one slide, you have got a maximum. Uh, how many slides are there? I have to see. Four slides means one slide, two minute time. Understood or not? Please observe over there and do it. Sources of energy and biofuel. You must develop the habit to write in rough copy with very nice handwriting. So later on when you copy, then you can do well. Rough copy, your rough copy or fair copy? Sorry? What is this? What is the role of this one? Then finite limited imbrance. What is this rough copy? Chemical equation. Then this is checked here. What is this? Yes. This is not copy. And why do you need this one? Check out rough copy. And writing also very, very poor, huh? Your rough copy? No, no, doing rough copy. Of the energy due to many factors in the future is defined as an energy crisis. And nuclear energy, the main source of energy through which other minor energies can be derived are the uh, uh, here like this the source of energy that can be obtained by either nuclear fusion or nuclear fission this number four you can slightly modify so the source of energy the source of energy Uh, energy that can be obtained by hello the source of energy that can be obtained either by either by nuclear fusion or nuclear fission The source of energy that can be obtained either by nuclear fusion or nuclear fission is called nuclear energy. But in case of you can write the form of energy. The form of energy that can be obtained either by nuclear fusion or nuclear fission is called nuclear energy. Okay, completed. Time also running, it's already 44. So, did you complete? Yes. Now, there will be tidal energy. Tidal energy. I think you have completed this one, did you? Okay. Tidal energy. The energy derived from the tide of the water is known as the tidal energy. The energy derived from the tide of the water is known as tidal energy. Next one is alternative sources of energy. Hello. The energy that helps mankind to save the non-renewable source of energy for the future are defined as the alternative source of energy. This is also okay. Solar energy. The energy that is derived from the energy of the sun by nuclear fusion reaction. The energy that is derived from the energy of sun inside the bracket, nuclear fusion reaction is called in the future are defined as the alternative source of energy. I said not to make noise. Okay? It's completed? 
Those who have got very poor handwriting speed, they cannot write quickly. I found some children are there in grade 6 who write very slowly. They cannot complete their homework every day. Because writing speed is so slow that they cannot copy what is in the book. Book to copy also is become difficult. That's very bad. Solar energy completed. Okay, so next one is nuclear fuel. Those kinds of fuel that are obtained from the nuclear fusion in the sun. Okay, nuclear fuel also you can do this one. Uh, those kinds of fuel that release energy, that release energy by either nuclear fusion or nuclear fission are defined as nuclear fuels. Those kinds of fuel that are that release energy by either nuclear fusion or nuclear fission are defined as nuclear fuels. Committed? Oh, they write very fast also. Good. Now, next one. Mention some traditional uses of solar energy. It can be used to cook food with the help of solar cookers. It can also be used to convert saline water into drinkable water with the help of a solar steel. Okay, did you Deepak? Did you just focus this one? Check, check this one in video. How is it? Okay. Uh, number F over. Now number G. What does number G say? What are the most useful alternative sources of energy for Nepal? Give two reasons. So two reasons are given here. What are the most useful alternative sources of energy for Nepal? Give two reasons. Number one, biogas. Nepal is an agricultural country. Here the biogas can be produced in more number or more quantity. Instead of number, you write their quantity, okay? In more quantity through the cattle and plants wastage. <coughs> Which is done? Yeah, they write of it fastly. Good. And next one is hydropower. Nepal is the Nepal is the second richest country in the world. There are more than six thousand rivers in Nepal through which electricity can be generated. So biomass and what next hydropower done. What to do? Writing, writing, writing is... I have told you to write in rough copy. If you have not managed, please manage immediately. Otherwise, you can get new copy and make it rough. Before writing in fair copy, develop the habit to write in rough copy. Number X. What are the conditions under which nuclear fusion is expected to occur in the sun? So, here are two conditions. Uh, there is an abundance, a uh, dividends, the A and C E. Abundance of hydrogen gas in the sun to participate. Sorry, that is in book also. Page number tell. Tell page number. But you must write down page number. One sixty-five. This answer it is in one sixty-five. You just mark it and copy down. <laughs> Most of the answers are in books, so they have to do. Number I, what are the advantages of the presence of hydrogen in large scale in the sun? What is the main thing? 
the main advantage of the presence of hydrogen in large scale in the sun is occurrence of nuclear fusion reaction occurrence of nuclear fusion reaction as a result large amount of heat and light can be produced as a result large amount of heat and light can be produced okay now the last question is there Completed. She is very happy now. If you start feeling difficult, then what about these other students who are very weak in those things? What do they do? This chemical reaction, don't forget to do it. So this is very important chemical reaction. But what to do? You have to write here arrow. It comes up to here arrow, 2 at 2 1 H1 plus 2 1 H1. So this is ordinary hydrogen. Four ordinary hydrogens react together and form one stable helium. This is called positron. What is this? O G T R O N. And here is energy. See, outside there is bright sunlight. That means nuclear fusion reaction is fully. Continuing in sun. The last number is what are the advantages of solar energy over mineral energy? Last question is here. Okay, so here are altogether four answers. It is eco-friendly, it is renewable source of energy, it is an alternative source of energy, and it helps in conducting bio-geochemical cycle like wind, water cycle, that is very important for living beings. So these four points are written. So, sincerity, it matters. Okay, if you do the work with sincerity, then you will be champion and you are really regarded as smart student of the country. You are, you are the smart student of Anupam right now. Next, after two, three years, you will not be of the smart student of Anupam because you have to join next institution. There also you have to show your smartness. Everywhere, just smartness and smartness. Okay? Yes, sir. So, did you complete this all? Yes, sir. So, these works which you have done in rough copy, you must write with very nice and writing in your fair copy. Next bell, I am going to check your rough copy. Those who don't have rough copy, they have to buy before my period. Understood or not? No story. The story you can tell to um, uh, other people. Nowadays, storytellers are very, very famous. In Paswati Koti home also, many storytellers are there. They are earning lots of money. One lady, Devi Pratibha, it is said that she has... Um, Charge more than 50 lakhs for 15 days storytelling. Are you very lovely? Eh? So, that is a kind of act. So, smart people, smart activity, smart earning also. Right? Okay, please start doing your work with smart activity. Thank you.